So in the previous video we have done the setup for Google Maps for the Android and iOS. Now let's just implement it in our Flutter application in order to see it on our mobile phones. So for that purpose for the implementation we will go simply to our main screen dot dot which is inside the main screen okay. So on the main screen dot dot as you know it is just this contain this black screen and this logout button which you can see here well as you know we do not need that it was just for the time being so now let's just implement it so first of all as you know we will need a scaffold widget and then in the body of this page we can simply say stack and as you know stack is a multi children widget and we can first add google map later on of course we will add further things on our main screen as well that's why we use stack with which is a multi children widget so anyways we can say google map so first of all let's define the map type which will be normal so we can say map type dot and as you can see we have basically multiple type of map types which is normal hybrid satellite Ran. okay of course we will go with the normal because in Google and driver or Olaclone app basically they have used normal maps okay and then we can say my location enabled and we will set this to true of course we have not yet uh, get the current location of the user but later on of course we will implement that okay so for now I mean I mean we have to just set it to true so the initial camera position that is from where our map will start so for now according to the documentation we will provide to it the current position in the documentation of Google Maps letter okay if you scroll down here here we have this uh, static final camera position K Google Plex okay just copy this okay and then come back here to the project and here we can simply paste it since you know currently we are not getting the current position of a user so for now we will go with this default uh, location later on of course we will change it also we have to copy the completer google map controller this one dot async and so now we can pass our this default position okay which is this latitude and longitude so we can say k google plex which is the google location actually google office i think and then we can say on map created that is when the map is initialized and set up when it is created so then google map control and let's give it name as controller so we can say controller underscore controller dot complete and pass the controller to it let's change the instance name for google map controller instead of it we can give it name as controller google map okay so that we can differentiate between our variables okay now as you know I mean on our map we will just like in uber and in driver or in all our apps we have basically there some changes occur at real time on the map that is when the user request a ride and then the driver arrive okay so I mean the map uh, the markers as well as the uh, car movement that is the icon so 
we need to basically define uh, or you can say initialize Google Map Controller new instance in order to control that changes. Of course that we will do later on in the course so for now we can simply say Google Map Controller I mean we need that so that's why and let's give it name as uh, new Google Map Controller and then put a semicolon we have just defined this so we can say now in here that is whenever the map is created we will assign the controller to our new Google Map controller so now we are ready to test our application so if you have already I mean if your app is running on the emulator make sure to close the debugging first okay because we have to install the app from the very start So here we go here you can see our app is running now successfully and it has displayed the Google map as you can see here now the next thing is uh, that is by default it will display this white theme okay that is the you can say the white interface for displaying this Google map on our flutter app but if you want I mean you can change the theme to black theme so for the black theme I will provide this script file okay which is by the name map underscore style which is basically a text file if you open it it contain a code like this okay you can say a JSON type code okay a JSON type script sorry so what we need to do we need to I mean you need to simply download this file first okay which is a text file so just download this I will provide it in the resource just download it open it and then select all and then we have to simply copy it okay so make sure to select all and then let's just copy it come back to the Android studio and here we have to let me just write a comment that is for black theme Google map and then you can simply write here new Google map controller and then paste okay after this okay just click here and click paste or you can press ctrl v on your keyboard so this is basically our black theme this script will basically uh, I mean change our uh, Google map from white theme to black theme now this code is basically I mean I have got this from Google Maps okay and you can find more themes on Google that is blue I mean there are certain uh, scripts available you can search on Google that is for changing to other th other than the black I think there are blue color as well so I mean you can just search for that but I will provide this black theme since you know we will be working uh, I mean we will use the black theme overall for our user app as well as for the drivers app so anyways once you pass this make sure to add a null check here okay just like this and now let's just restart the app so here we go it looks more beautiful now okay so this is basically our black theme or you can say the black UI for our Google map so now uh, as you know I mean it is uh, by default it is now displaying this K Google Plex location okay but of course later on we will implement the we will get the user current location uh, in order to allow the user to basically request a write same we will do in case of driver that is we will implement the current location at real time okay it will be uh, changing at each every second we will get the current location for the user as well as for the driver overall I mean we will implement all these features in the course later on in the course of course we are going step by step so for now I mean you have learned how to add a Google map with white theme which is by default and then how to add the black theme to the Google map one step we can do further is to make this black theme code reusable and how we can do that so we can simply minimize this okay minimize this and above the widget build 
let's implement a method by the name Google Map black themed Google Map and now from here we can simply cut this piece of code okay and we can simply paste it inside this method which is black theme Google Map just like this okay so that code this long piece of code is now you can say whenever we want it we will simply call our this method which is black theme Google Maps so it is reusable now so let's just minimize this and now we have to call this function which is black this method which is black theme Google Map so this is the right way okay here you can see it is working fine so that is nice